Hi there, Leos, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, and I am currently doing your January 2020 Love Monthly uh, Forecast reading. So, again, this is, is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in and connect to every Leo's out there. So, just keep that in mind. Um, and if you'd like a more personal reading specifically for you, or if you want a reading just like this one, you can do that by booking a session with me on my website, in the stars by Chrissy.com. So, anyway, let's get on with the reading for you, Leos, out there. Now, I feel that for those that are in the sign of Leo, right now the focusing energy is really it's not really about a relationship or anything like that it could be related to love though but the idea of manifesting something is coming in strongly i kind of feel that you are at the point of your life wherein you are ready to take in the world you're ready for some form of change you are ready for whatever it is that you are desiring to have in your life that is really the focus here you know you are really more into focusing on manifesting something in that in that area of your love so it could be whether you are single in a relationship in a complicated relationship or in a marriage there is something that you want to happen there is something that you want to manifest and to bring into your own reality and that's really what you are working on right now i kind of feel that you will see improvements or at the very least you are desiring for things to improve at the same time, I kind of feel that there's just a lot of burden that is surrounding you right now. So it's not really hindering you in any way, but I kind of feel that it stresses you out big time. There could be a lot of fears right now. It's like you want you're wanting to be happy, but at the same time there is something that is making you feel worried or there is some form of anxiety surrounding that so it kind of feel that you know there is really no good or bad answer into this i kind of feel that you are both being fearful of what makes you happy and fearful of the negative things as well so i don't know if you are just scared or maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed with everything that has been happening for you maybe even outside of your love life and relationship scenario but right now though i kind of feel that you can you might be feeling emotional things have been really great in the past i do see that there were happy times over here but right now i kind of feel that you are turning into the more a more serious tone i kind of feel that there is probably something that you want to bring in to manifest it could be that you are wanting to talk to someone to finalize something in the relationship it could be a closure it could be you know a marriage or it could also be um, something to do with the status quo or to the exclusive dating kind of um scenario whether you are exclusively dating in an open relationship i don't know i just kind of feel that you are now at the point and at the verge of wanting to set the deal of what is really about this relationship what do we really have over here and to you know i to either set boundaries or to make it all clear to, of what this relationship is really all about so that all of those anxiety and fears can be gone and get over with so that is really what i'm get, picking up over here there's also an energy here we're in for some of you guys you feel so tired and drained with whatever has been happening for you and you are just wanting answers right now the focus of this reading has a lot to do with communication a lot to do with confrontations as well and at the same time you know uh, 
fearing and overcoming something can be in the picture as well there are answers that you really really want at this time maybe some there is a possibility that something has happened in the past that felt you might have felt unfair upon and you want some form of um, clarity into that matter and you might be discussing that with your partner and to see where things are standing right now and where they are going to improve in the future or if is there any improvement at all in the relationship that is really all what you will be focusing on and dealing with to talk about we do see here that yes there is going to be some form of rekindling not really rekindling but making it up with your partner that i'm picking up so there's going to be um yeah improvement when it comes to relationship i kind of feel that in the past you were trying not to talk about things in a very serious way but i kind of feel that as you go over january you will come into this reality that you need to talk things out you need to find a conclusion into things and that is really what you will you will be focusing on so um maybe you are fearful of what can happen to the relationship you are fearful that if you try to confront this person or if you try to push um an idea to that person that the relationship is gonna fall apart but you will realize that you know nothing is ever gonna happen if you don't speak up so yes the relationship is going to transform for better or worse it is but clarity is going to be achieved in the process so this can make you feel inspired at the end you know especially when you gain some form of clarity at the same time either this is really happening in two things in two ways basically i'm seeing one part of you guys finding clarity emotional clarity and satisfaction and that will just make you more inspired in terms of connecting with your partner in this relationship but at the same time there are other people who probably is going to spend the entire month trying to figure things out you know wanting answers but at the same time they don't want to take action to get the answers so at the end of the day they they become stuck so there are two scenarios that i'm picking up over here so um if this is you i kind of feel that this can be a very specific reading if this is you of course you will have the choice whether to confront the person or not but do know that if you do not confront the person right now you might lose the chance to to get the answers you know or there is a chance that you may not see the truth anymore that kind of thing and there is also an energy here that you might need to be careful of deception of some kind so wh whether you are just deceiving your own self or getting deceived by someone else there is that tendency as well so i kind of feel that it's really really important to get into the to the heart of the matter while you can because you already have the opportunity to clear things out the opportunity to to solve things and resolve things there is a strong power to transform relationships here and to get the support from your partner and sometimes you don't have to carry the burden all alone and you can just you know talk to them and seek help i kind of feel that by that that will help the relationship move further as well because for some of you guys there could be you know s lingering thoughts of whether to continue the relationship or not or should i just go single so you know 
um, if there is anything that is confusing you in your relationship, I kind of feel that to speak up and to find the truth, find the clarity, uh, ask ask them confront them and get the answers that you have there is going to be improvement in the air for you that is really totally possible to occur a lot of um, new beginnings can take place once the clarity comes in and that is going to be another venture for you in terms of your love life so it is a truly a positive time it's just that I kind of feel that more than anything, you just need to have the courage to do something that you are fearful of doing. That is really the biggest message that I'm picking up over here. There is something that you don't want to do, but you have to do. And eventually, you will realize that you have to do what it is that you are fearful of doing in this relationship again all i can see here are just energies so i really don't know what specific action you are planning and doing leos but it is telling me that you have to overcome the adversity and just to act on it and do what you have to do because it has to happen you need to do it not just for the relationship but also for yourself and for your own sanity i feel is also over here so the advice for leos let me see i forgot to pick the card ahead of time so hold on for january 2020 it's an advice so we have here the card of athena it is saying that it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So this is really, you know, giving us a message that you don't need to be afraid to overwhelm someone. Maybe you are afraid that by speaking up, you might ruin something. But, you know, you need to love that about yourself. And maybe um, speaking up has get gotten you into trouble before but right now you are being guided to really get your power back and to be the person that you truly are you don't have to pretend or you don't have to um, have this mind games wherein I need to do this so that my partner will stay or I need to do this so that this person will be interested in me you don't have to do all those kinds of things I kind of feel that right now you need to take action based on what you truly feel what makes you happy what what you really desire right now I kind of feel you need to focus on what you want you know regardless of whether regardless of the relationship itself i kind of feel that right now for you to be happy you need to do what you want you need to take action and if you need to say something sooner or later you know that is going to come up anyway so i i kind of feel it's best to just come out in the open and know that you know maybe this is going to be helpful to your partner as well so again don't be afraid to to take action and do something that is really the biggest message that i can tell you guys and it is going to create improvements and for your relationship and if you are not in contact with your with your special someone or if you had a fight with the other person be the first one to speak up that could be the message here of course i'm not telling um you guys to go back to your ex or anything like that if you don't want to it's just that whatever you are feeling guided to do right now don't be afraid to do it don't think about what will happen if you do something just do it don't bother with the what ifs or or what nots those kinds of things this is the time we're in your action is going to create 
some form of movement in terms of your destiny and faith in your relationship but it's definitely going to help things move forward and you know it can even revitalize a relationship that is dying or becoming stagnant in the process so um yeah it is there is going to be help that is going to be transpiring for you if you act upon your true nature leo so um yeah this is really the biggest message that i'm picking up for you guys overall i kind of feel that this is actually a pretty much of a good month for leos out there uh, maybe um you might just have a lot of things in your mind that you are thinking too much about you know there's just so many things in your head maybe you're not able to sleep well at night or you know you are bothered with the little things that you shouldn't be even bothered about so i kind of feel that you know leo should be more confident right now and just do what you want because you want them you know you don't have a specific reason why you should not do things why you should do things those kinds of things so um yeah this is definitely going to be a powerful month so don't be afraid to take action and you will overcome the adversity that you have right now if you do take action to if you do initiate things so take a look of the keywords that i keep repeating in this entire video and that is really the biggest message that you need to know on how you can navigate this month of january for you thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i'll see you again on february 2020